Thanks. Hi, good, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Um, so my name's Peter Davidson. I teach at uh, Zayed University in Dubai, where it is indeed 37 degrees. Um, I want to talk about um, using AI to give students feedback. Um, all, all my career, I've tried to get really good at giving students feedback, uh, oral feedback, written feedback. Um, and I've, I've read a lot about it. I've, I've written about it and I've given talks about it. And recently I've come to the conclusion that AI is better than at giving feedback than, than I am. Um, for a number of reasons, these are the uh, some of the advantages of AI generated feedback over human generated feedback. I think the quality is better. It, it's more comprehensive, it's extensive and, and it's more accurate. When I, when I see the type of feedback that AI gives, I'm always impressed. Um, it's also, I think, uh, more objective. There's there's less bias in it than, than with human raters. It's more consistent with uh, intra-related reliability and inter-related reliability. It's it's immediate and available 24-7. You can have feedback audio in, in different modalities. You can have audio, text, video, or visual feedback. And these days, we can customize um, feedback to students' individual needs, and it can be personalized over time. And I'm beginning to find that a lot of my students prefer AI feedback over my feedback, which is, hurts my feelings a little bit, but there you go. Um, so as, as Cherry mentioned, one of the key things about um, you know, AI, AI is making sure that you got, give an effective prompt. So there's a, there's a nice acronym that's used, CRISP, to, def, to, to help people write a, a nice prompt. And and this is um, this is true for all types of prompts, not just giving uh, prompts for get, getting feedback. So um, using this CRISP uh, acronym, it, you, you, so when you're giving an, a, 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 an, a prompt for, to AI, you need to provide the context. You need to provide background information to frame the task. Um, you need to assign a role. You need to input. You need to specify what you want the AI to do. You need to define the boundaries of the output, the length, the structure, and also the purpose. I've added a couple here. I've added ER. I've added examples. If you provide an example to your prompt, AI really loves that, and, and the quality of your output becomes so much better. And the, the often I find that I need to rework my prompt. I need to revise it. So I've got a few different prompts here, um, and I've changed the order a little bit. So here's a prompt. Uh, you are an experienced and knowledgeable English teacher. You're teaching uh, at a, an academic pre-sessional university course in the UK. I want you to give feedback to my students on their position essays. Um, and then the input is the input's key here. I want the, I want them to provide feed. I want AI to provide feedback on content, organization, and language use. And I've explained what that is. And then I've I've given some scope. I want the feedback to be around two hundred fifty words. Provide it in a table with three columns headed content, organization, and language use, and provide both positive and negative feedback. So here. The, the, the AI will have enough uh, information to give to give some good feedback. It's just not sufficient to ask a, a AI give feedback. It's just not sufficient. Imagine if you're a, 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 a working in a um, writing center and your your job is to give students feedback, and a student came in and said, "Give me feedback on my essay." You would ask these questions. You would ask, you know, what's the context? What course is it for? What's the question? What kind of feedback do you want me to do? You would ask these questions. So similarly, uh, AI wants to ask these questions as well. Here's another prompt. You're an experienced, I've taken out the, the role and the context, et cetera. You're an experienced, knowledgeable writing teacher. You're teaching a technical communication course to second year university students in Hong Kong. I want you to give feedback to my students on their instruction manuals. And here you can, I've inserted a, a rubric. I've given, uh, rather than ask, type out what I wanted to give feedback on, I, you can insert a, a rubric here. And this is often done also when we're asking AI to give a uh, grade and assignment, not just give feedback. Um, so insert the rubric here, make the feedback around 250 words, provide it in a table with the four columns in the rubric. And lastly, here's a more a, a kind of an interesting one. 
<clears throat> this is giving feedback on as f f this is giving feedback on a number of different assignments that a student have written. So the feed the, the prompt is please analyze the following six essays I've written, focus on the overall clarity, coherence, structure, grammar, and style, provide feedback on strengths and areas for improvement, and suggest specific ways to enhance my writing. So here you can ask AI to give more, more general feedback. So how does this change my role as a, as a teacher? Well, when, once that my students have got this AI feedback, my role becomes, uh, to, I sit down with the students and I, I might have to clarify the AI generated feedback to them. They might not quite understand it. I, I could provide additional feedback, but I find myself not providing much additional feedback at all because AI has done it all. However, I do discuss with a student how they will incorporate that feedback into their into their writing. So my role completely changed. And just to finish off, I've I've come up with um, five of the best AI tools I think for for giving students feedback. Here, um, <clears throat> I didn't include Grammarly because Grammarly is a little bit uh, focusing so a little bit more on the on the surface features and, and grammar and language. But these five are really, really good tools that get right into content and and organization and style and tone and and they and and, and they're becoming quite nuanced in 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 understanding and what 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 the students require. That's it. Thank you very much.